G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament. Uh, this is an 8 board BBO tournament, let's just jump straight into it and see what we can actually do. So 10, 13 highs, uh, 5, 3, 4, 1. So I'm just going to open a spade, probably rebid 2 diamonds. 2 spades, that's good enough for me. So my partner's just got a Dalton sp spade here, weak hand, nothing more to say. Uh, so one common thing that I see some people do is they occasionally think that bidding two diamonds shows extra points because uh, they confuse it with like reverses. So if you open and just bid another suit that's uh, lower ranking than your suit, uh, it, it doesn't show any extra points. This is just 11 plus points. So here I haven't pr promised any extra points. just wanted to highlight that. And... The fact that the robots think that this can be a three card suit. No, they don't think this can be a three card suit. I don't know why my partner didn't uh, just pass two diamonds, but uh, here we are. And we're playing in two spades. So off the top, I've got two heart losers, two spade losers, and a club. I've got the queen of clubs that can throw something away. Maybe my fourth diamond. Potentially a heart, if I'm worried about... Uh, having a heart rough, but other than that, assuming that they can't get a rough, I should be okay. Um, so I want hearts to be 4-3. I want spades not to be ridiculously bad, because they might uh, force me to lose trump control. That seems a bit, a bit of a way off. Um, but I might be able to conf convince them not to give their partner a heart rough by just Playing the uh, Jack and Ten of Hearts was, was my plan, but uh, now I've switched, so I don't know who's got the short diamond, whether it's west or east. Um, so, things I can do win the Queen of Diamonds and lead the Jack of Spades. Uh, that puts. I don't know. I'm trying to work out is there a good way to prevent them from giving a diamond rough. I could have like uh, won the Queen of Diamonds and led a club towards the King. So here like the major issue on this hand is preventing someone from getting a, a, a red suit rough or trumping a red suit. Uh, now I don't have any good techniques. I was thinking maybe trying to win in the North hand and lead the Jack of Spades. That, that has some downfalls in that I might have a deep diamond loser if they're 4-1 anyway. Um, so here I'm just going to let this win run around to the jack. Someone might think I'd bid a three card suit. And I can't see that uh, leading, winning and leading the jack of spades would be that effective. Okay, so for over the first turtle, they haven't played another diamond and they didn't get a heart rough. So now we can play the ten of spades. And trumps broke 4-2, so now we just go queen of spades. And the nine of spades. And we play a diamond over. So diamonds uh, broke 3-2. 85%. Not sure what I did there. Alright, so some people uh, just bid past a no trump, which I don't like doing, but uh, worked out well this time. For some reason, the robots didn't uh, get their rough. They can get a diamond rough here. So King of Hearts, and now they probably have to switch to a diamond, more or less play a club to the ace and then their partner can play one. But let's say they play the jack of diamonds. They win. Ace of clubs and another diamond. Alright. So I think the one difference here is I played the jack and ten of hearts. Which made the robots not give their partner a diamond rough. Which I don't understand why. Um, but I was trying to convince them not to give a heart rough. So I sort of got away with that one. Pretty happy with that. Uh, but 85% and in rank 3. 
So here we've got a balanced 15 count. Beautiful hand for opening one, no trump. My favorite opening bid. Transfer to clubs. Three spades, short spades, and a game forcing hand. Hmm. Okay, so how interested in slam am I? I've got a wasted king of spades. Um, so for me, it feels like I should probably bid three no trumps. Ace king, doubleton, heart, and like ace jack third club does reduce that. So if my partner had like uh, three hearts, three diamonds, and a singleton spade, if I've got singleton, three little, ace king, queen, and king queen to six. So that's a 12 count, like, which they could have, uh, where six clubs is fantastic. But I think I should just try and bid three spades. My partner, three no trumps. But uh, we could be missing a slam here. Okay. And here we are. Um, my partner has seven clubs and I'll, all right we've got a 10 card club fit so for here the best percentage thing to do is take a club finesse um, the other reason I want to take a club finesse is I don't want East to win the king of clubs and push a spade through so let's just uh, win that and play a diamond over and I want to take a club finesse, and if East has three clubs, I want to be able to repeat it. But if clubs are 2-1, I want to uh, be able to get back this. So here, a couple, couple of main problems on this hand. Number one, I don't want to let East win a trick, because if they do, they can lead spades through. Second number, big problem on this hand is maybe how many times I want to take the club finesse. Now, there are three missing clubs, so uh, if clubs break 2-1, I only need to take it once. But if they break 3-0... I need to finesse clubs twice, so I want to be able to stay in the north hand. Problem number three on this is I I want to be able to get back to that north hand. So uh, if I say lead the queen of clubs and it goes small, small, and west wins their king, they can then knock out the, the king of diamonds. So the way to solve all of these problems is to lead the ten of clubs. So firstly, if clubs are three now, I stay in that north hand to repeat the finesse. Secondly, I am taking the finesse, so I can't lose a trick to east, uh, which is the danger hand. And thirdly, if it goes ten of clubs, small, small, and west wins the king, I can then go ace of clubs and overtake the jack. So here, I'm just going to leave the ten of clubs, which caters to all of those issues. Okay, so they're three now, and I've preserved my... Um, Entry, so I can now lead a club towards the jack. Cash the ace of clubs. And here... Prob I think I wanted to count diamonds. Um, <laughs> um, I haven't paid enough attention to West's discards here. But uh, we'll just cash some clubs. I think there's still the uh, jack of diamonds out. So at this stage, I'm just going to play a heart to the king and give up a diamond. And they get the uh, last two. 82%. All right, that was good. Um, some people, so some per, one person bid six clubs. Um, with the three nil, it's still, oh, uh, diamonds are three, three. So we don't have a club loser, but you can play for diamonds to break 3-3 three, three to get rid of your uh, loser there. Uh, some people only made 10 tricks. So just seeing how, what they did. So heart lead, they won, and they cash the ace of clubs. So here, I don't really like this play. Uh, firstly, it's not the percentage way to play the clubs, and also it risks putting east on, which then they can actually just lead spades through. So play another club, 
and you're lucky that your king nine fourth spade can prevent it. But if East leads the queen of spades at that stage rather than a club, uh, it's a lot worse off. Um, so yeah, pretty cool hand there about how to solve how to play the clubs based on the few different issues. Number one, I want to take the club finesse because that's the percentage thing. Number two, East was the danger hand, which also confirms taking the club finesse. Number three, working out how many times you want to take it and which hand to stay in. So I wanted to lead the ten of clubs to stay there in case it was the three nil split. And then fourth, I, if the finesse failed, I wanted the entries to get back there. So if I led the queen of clubs, um, I might have blocked the suit as well. So uh, board number three. So four, five, one, three, fourteen count. Beautiful fourteen count. But partner's not interested. Uh, so one heart, pass, pass, and that's it from me. This is a strange auction. Alright, one heart, pass, pass, a spade. Balancing overcall. One no trump, uh, sort of weak no trump sort of style. He said invite, I have 13 points. Surprise, I, I would just bid three no trumps with a 13 count. Uh, Wes said, oh, by the way, how about diamonds, I'm weak. And he said, okay, fine. Which finally got my partner on lead, which is good, but um, I think I was planning on leading a club myself anyway. East got in there with a one spade overcall. This is just a classic takeout double situation. So very peculiar uh, double there. Okay, so the two of clubs looks like my partner's got four card club suit. Uh, they also didn't lead hearts. West probably has some length in hearts. They didn't raise spades, so West has at most two spades. Uh, I'm just going to stick the ten of clubs in here. I'll probably lose. Okay. Diamond to the ace. Low heart. They'll take a finesse. Alright, so my partner had three hearts. So hearts were five, three, three, two. And my partner's got the jack of hearts. West has shown up with the ace queen there. Um, okay. Don't think I need all those spades, so we'll do that. Alright, next question is how many clubs does West have? Has my partner led low from three clubs or from four? Uh, I don't know, but what I can do is I can just win the ace. Um, if my partner's led from four, dummy's dead like that. If my partner's led from three, when I lead the king of hearts, they can throw a club away. Or just over off. Yeah, so one club discard there. Plus 100. 78%. This is going well. Uh, so West had just a five-card diamond suit. They found a fit. Um, they had uh, just 11 points opposite... Uh, 11 points opposite... 12? Is that right? Yeah, 11 opposite 12, so 23 highs. Can we beat uh, three no trumps, though? Uh, in theory, they can get four diamond tricks, two hearts is six, uh, three clubs is not. I feel like they can make three no trumps. I uh, have to look at that one a bit more. Um, some people let three diamonds make. Just, let's just have a quick look at this. So club lead, they won the ace, king of spades, ace of spades, spade. Alright, so I really don't like that ace, king, and other spade play. Uh, your, your cards aren't going anywhere. When your partner leads the uh, two of clubs, you know that West has uh, two or three clubs, depending on what partner led from. No need to rush in and put the ace there. Anyway, uh, 70, we're running at 82% in rank number one. So let's see what we can actually do. Um, four cards to port and 12 points. So... 
The Rebels play Jacoby 2 no trumps, where I can show a game forcing raise. I've got a Dalton Diamond, so my hand's worth 13 points. So I can bid uh, 2 no trumps. And I've got a short heart. Alright, I, I want to cooperate, but... Um, like, having to bid four spades here is just kind of ridiculous. Uh, my partner's only got 12 points as well, because this is a best hand tournament. Like, I'd really want a way to say, wow, that singleton's really good for me, but I don't want to have to commit to slam. So let, let's look at what sort of hands partner could have. They could have a 5-1-4-3. So if they've got a 5-1-4-3, I'd need them to have ace of spades, ace king of diamonds, and the queen of clubs, um, and then slam would be really good. That's a 13 count, which they can actually have because I've got 13, not 12. Can't count, but it's nice to nice to check again. Um, I think I'm going to make a cubit here. Like my hand's pretty good, and it's sort of non-committal. My partner is not interested there, so I'll just pass. Right. Uh, so we have alright um, my partner's got three diamond losers or potentially I could just trump three hearts so if I rough three hearts in my hand I can just throw a diamond away so if I can discard one diamond so if I uh, trump this Ace of spades, spade to the king. Trump another one. Club to my hand. Trump another one. If the club stands up, it's all good. Uh, yeah, I like that play. I'm going to do it like dummy reversal. I'm going to pretend that my hand trumps. Uh, the long trump hand. If the second club gets knocked off, or if spades aren't... Like, if spades are 2-2... Two, two, Short summary. I've got. I usually would make a plan from the north hand, and so I've got three diamond losers with the idea of maybe I can trump one, maybe I can lead towards the ace of diamonds, maybe I could just discard a diamond. Um, but my plan here is to do so much trumping in the north hand that my hand becomes the long trump hand. So what's going to happen is I started with three heart losers and two diamond losers. I want to try and trump three hearts, which then makes my hand the long trump hand. And with my two diamonds, I want to discard one of them on the fifth round of clubs. So, to do this, what I had to do was trump the first one, and now I'm playing ace of spades, spade. That'll leave me with two trumps left in dummy. So, by playing ace of spades and a spade to my hand, then I'm in, in my hand, I can trump another heart, I can cross to the ace of clubs and trump another heart. If spades broke 2-2, no fear of anything being roughed. If spades broke 3-1, when I cross with the club again, they might be able to trump that. But I'm playing for either black suit to be breaking 2-2. Uh, two -two. Okay, so we roughed. And we'll rough in again. Okay, so they got their trump. Uh, now I just have to hope that the ace of diamonds is on side. If it's not, I lose two diamond tricks. I feel like this one won't be a great score. I think it'll just be average. 21%. Ouch. Okay, so... If I just draw trumps, I get an extra trick. But my way is sort of playing for either suit breaking 2-2. Two -two. Or it was to have three spades and three clubs. Uh, let's just see how... Alright, so someone made 12 tricks. Ace of hearts lead, they roughed. Spade, spade. They drew the last trump. Cashed all the clubs. Played a diamond. And for some reason West threw so many hearts that they got to rough something. So they weren't really trying to make 12 tricks, but it just happened that they would. Um, Ace of hearts, spade up, spade. 
So like this line of play here, what you're trying to do is if you draw trumps, then cash all the clubs, you're going to lose two diamonds. So they were really, really trying to guarantee that they got 11 tricks. Whereas my line of play, I would have made 12 tricks if spades broke 2-2, two, two, or if clubs broke 2-2, two, two, or if the hand that had uh, three spades also had three clubs, or if the ace of diamonds was on side, which I think is way better odds and well worth the uh, chances here, because there are so many different contingencies there. Really happy with how I played that one. Uh, got punished on the layout, but uh, still running at 66% in rank number two. Board number five, 14 count, all in aces and kings, but it's a four triple three. So I won't upgrade this one, but uh, if it wasn't a four triple three, I would have upgraded it. Well, I wish I opened a no trump now. Um, if I opened a no trump, I reckon this would be a cool hand where my partner could bid stamen. If I bid two hearts or two spades, they just pass it and play there. And if I bid two diamonds, then it's all good. All right. Uh, my partner's got three points opposite my 14, which is 17. 23 missing. East does not have an opening hand, so West has at least 12 points. And because it's a best hand tournament, West has 12 to 14. I've got... I just want to sort of scramble and take as many tricks as possible here. I think I'll probably get about 45% uh, going like three down anyway. So heart to the ace. So I can return a heart towards the queen, or I can cash the ace, king, and diamonds first. I'm going to cash the ace, king, and diamonds first. Okay, the queen didn't drop. Let's now play a heart back. I was going to put in the eight of hearts, because it went small heart, jack, and east put... Oh, because east put in the jack... They should be playing the lower of touching cards. Um, so if they had the jack and the 10, they should have put in the uh, 10. So I knew West had that. No need to cover the jack just yet. Okay, they're drawing trumps on me. That appears to be my last trick. Oh, I had hopes there. Maybe if I didn't cash my diamonds, I would have been okay. I think I could have got one extra one. 35%. Uh, a couple of people went down three. Uh, some other people opened one diamond for no particular reason. Quick look at how someone went down three. Heart lead, they won the ace, they just returned a heart straight away. Club duct and diamond switch. Yeah, so this is like a tough one to work out. Uh, if you just return a heart, do your diamond tricks go anywhere? Like if spades don't break, the opponents might be able to throw a diamond trick. So I don't think it's clear to just return a heart and try and set it up. Uh, but I just took my down four, like many people did. And now I'm running at 60%. Rank number four. Not sad about either of those two boards, but definitely, definitely got punished there. Board number six. So six, eleven, thirteen points. Five cards suit. I'll open a club. Rebid one new trump. New minor forcing. This just says, partner, tell me more information. So here, uh, I haven't said I've got three card support, which is the most amount of spades I can have when I bid one no trump, or else I would have supported them initially. Okay, so we have a club loser, we've got two heart losers, we've got some spade losers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, who, who's led? I, I, I wanted to put in the queen of diamonds. But it looks like I can rough it some diamonds. I also want to just lead a club up early. The reason for this is working out 
uh, for my plan was the Ace of Clubs on side to allow me to uh, choose do I want to discard or do I want to try and trump them. Now that I've cashed the Ace of Hearts, that's taken care of my Heart Loser as well. Uh, so at this stage, I just want to draw trumps. So just get in, draw trumps, and use the King Queen of Clubs to throw two diamonds away. So the only 4-1 split I can pick up in spades is with West having 4 to the Jack. So we'll cash the Ace Queen. They don't break. Uh, they, they don't uh, break poorly. Play a heart over, and now just uh, King Queen of Clubs throwing some diamonds away. Eighty-two percent. I'm guessing some people played in no trumps. Yeah, some people played in three no. Some people passed a spade, which I don't get. Um, I guess they're trying to use the best hand tournament idea. Um, but I, I was thinking my hand was closer to a strong no trump than yeah, anything else. Anyway, uh, oh, did I show a minimum as well? Yeah, I showed 12 or 13 points. I should have, just looking at this, I don't use too much new minor forcing, but I probably should have bid three spades, showing 14 points. My hand's pretty good. Anyway, back into rank two. Two boards to play. What can we do now? A uh, 16 bagger. One club. I was going to say, probably rebid one spade, but my partner bid that. So, a couple options. Do I want to bid, like, three diamonds splinter? This wouldn't be a reverse, because you can just bid two diamonds, showing um, an unbalanced hand with clubs and diamonds, and strength. So three diamonds is a splinter, which is 19 to 22 total points. Um, or otherwise, I can just try and bid three spades, 16, 18. And this is, like, a really tricky question of how do you evaluate singleton aces? Um, and like, I, I prefer my, like, Ace of Clubs than I do my Ace of Diamonds. So an Ace of Diamonds isn't worth four points for an Ace and three points for a Singleton, I don't think. But I think it's somewhere around five points. Um, so let's call it five points, and I'll give it 10, 12, 17. So I'll just bid three spades. Okay, this is an ugly hand. Our partner's got seven points. We have a club loser. We've got three heart losers. We've got a spade loser or two. And yeah, so a club, three hearts, and a spade. Well, we'll start with that. So, I, it kind of feels like I need to play for both the King of Spades to be with Ace and coming good, and I need the King of Clubs on side, or the Jack of Hearts on side. I'm gonna, I want entries to the North hand, but I'll just play a low heart here. In with the Ace. Okay, so we've got three heart losers. And East has King Jack to five hearts. They started with the Ten of Diamonds, so West has the Queen Jack of Diamonds. And they're giving us a rough and discard. That is strange. Alright, um... Uh, is it worthwhile... Like, okay, so now that I'm down, it's still worthwhile to try and make a plan to make sure I don't lose more than necessary. Um, so first of all, it's very odd that they gave me a rough and discard. 
one reason that you'd do that is if spades were breaking really, really poorly. So if West had four spades. So I'm just going to go in with the king of diamonds here and take a club finesse while we're at it. Okay. Uh, if spades are 4-1, um, if I put in the nine of spades, then the queen of spades, I can play like a club towards my hand, but um, it doesn't, like, West got to discard a club, so that would work if West started with three clubs. Um, however, but it, would, it would make it really, really strange um, for East to give me the rough and discard, and West to discard a club from three clubs. I'd give them a hand shape of like four, two, four, three. And I haven't seen the queen or jack of diamonds yet. So I I'm not going to finesse the ten of spades. Yeah. So they get their rough. Trump. Draw the last trump. 42%. Some people just bid two spades. Uh, very, very pessimistic. Don't like that at all. Other people open one no trump. That at least has some upshot. Um, but uh, not my style. Uh, so 61%. One board to go. Hopefully we can finish strong. Let's see what we can do here. So, based on the previous one, should we open one no trump here? The answer is still, I don't want to. Uh, club a heart. So a couple of options. I could bid two hearts. I could reverse into two diamonds. I could try a no trump. I could bid two clubs. Let's go through and just discuss those. Uh, firstly, uh, two clubs I think is too weak, and I prefer to be playing in hearts than in clubs. Um, not because it's a major, but like I know four, two hearts is a playable spot in a 4-3 fit. Two clubs could be a 5-1. Two diamonds uh, is okay. We're all aces and kings. You could consider a reverse here. Um, it's going to get escalate the auction pretty high. I think I'd prefer it if my ace of spades was in a different suit. One no trump I don't like at all. It just completely misdescribes the hand. So for me, I'm going to take the low road and bid two hearts. I'm a, a heart short, but uh, happier to be there. Diamond lead. Okay, so I don't know what other people would bid, but if you bid two clubs, that would not play well. If you bid two diamonds, your partner will probably game force, and you might end up in three no trumps, which has two spades, two clubs, a heart, two diamonds. So like three no trumps isn't fun. If they rebid one no trump, uh, that would probably play okay. Um, but you might only make seven tricks. But uh, So low diamond. Okay, so we're in a 4-3 fit. Uh, we've got another diamond loser. We've got two spade losers. I want to be able to throw one of my spade losers away on a club. I also want to prevent the opponent's roughing. So I could play a club to the king and run the jack of hearts. Let's start drawing trumps. Alright, so West has Ace Queen of Diamonds, King of Hearts is 9. We'll just stick the Ten of Hearts in here. Uh, I was thinking if I play another Heart. 
No, I, I can't afford to play another heart. I think East might have put the heart on her if they had another one. I've probably got four. I need to start on uh, diamonds. Just give them a diamond trick. So I rushed with the queen, um, which means uh, I can rough that spade. So if I go ace of clubs, club rough, can't untangle it, unfortunately. I might have been able to do something earlier. Seventy-five percent, two hearts making. I feel like I could have made an extra trick in there. Uh, just having a quick look. They can hold me to it. No, so on a diamond lead, they can hold me to it. Anyway, uh, finished in second with sixty-two point nine four percent. So overall, pretty well. I was. I was Pretty happy with that one. Um, so board number one got two spades rather than playing two diamonds. And this one, I, was, I, I guess I got lucky. Uh, I was trying to dissuade the opponents from a heart rough, didn't didn't work. And they didn't find their diamond rough, so that was fine. And then board two, where I was in three no trumps making 11. This was all about the club suit, keeping uh, the entries and the danger hand, choosing which club to actually play. Then board three, defending three diamonds. This is where my partner led a club, and dummy had king, jack, fourth. And I didn't hop up with the ace, but just stuck the ten in. Then board four, I only scored 21%, uh, but I thought I found a really good line here. Uh, I was pretty happy with that. Uh, that line did not work. Board five, just opened a club, got to play there. Maybe I should have made an extra trick by playing a heart back earlier, but uh, to cash my diamonds just in case probably wasn't Shouldn't have been too worried about that, though. Um, so I think that was probably a, a potential error I could have thought about better. Board six, I was in uh, four spades plus one, um, where I just had to lead my singleton club up early just to find out uh, where the ace was, how many club discards I had. And board seven, I made an invite, got to four spades, where spades weren't breaking and went two down. And then finally, two hearts, making two. Um, just have a quick look what other people did. Some people rebid uh, two clubs, uh, by the looks of it. Some people got to two no trumps somehow. And other people got to high end diamonds. No one got to three no trumps, though. Anyway, that was the weekly free instant tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.